It is the fall of 2017 at Sakai Works of Hitachi Zosen. Here, steel material is being cut and welded to assemble blocks big and small. Being constructed here is a barge-type floater to be used in the demonstration project of next-generation floating offshore wind turbine system by new energy and industrial technology development organization, NEDO. It slowly takes shape over the course of several months. Hiragata no ano futai nan de dock no naka de futai gumi de dekiru to kono jounai no crane desu ne. Kono 120 ton no crane dake de kumitate ga zenbu kansei shite shimau to. The barge type floater was completed in June 2018. It's time to make its maiden voyage. The dry dock is flooded to set it afloat, and the rest is left up to tugboats. This floater is characterized by its unique square ring shape and shallow draft of around 7.5 meters. It can be towed with comparative ease even inside ports. The floater, towed out to sea, heads toward Kita Kyushu via the Seito Naikai Sea. Demonstration research is already being carried out in Japan on a fixed bottom platform in shallow waters and a floating platform in deep waters. The barge type floater can be deployed in waters of medium depth of around 50 meters. After about one week of towing, the floater arrives in Kitakyushu City. The Hibikinada area is aiming to be an integrated base for the industries related to wind power generation. The lightweight wind turbine that will be mounted on the floater here is characterized by its two-blade structure. This is the nacelle housing the generator. These can be assembled on land and mounted on top of the tower. Bolts are passed through these tight holes, so the blades measuring around 50 meters in length are adjusted manually. Delicate work is carried out in mounting the tower too. The bolts are tightened carefully under controlled torque. Then comes the most difficult task of mounting the turbine on the 70-meter tower. It's a battle against the swaying caused by the waves and wind. They finally succeed. And a new offshore wind turbine is assembled. It's the birth of Hibiki, the next generation offshore floating wind turbine system. で、この2つを合わせることによってですね、利用さんすれば、コスト低減が実現できるいいプロジェクトになることを期待しています。the planned installation site is the Sea of Hibikinada, offshore of Kitakyushu. A barge for offshore construction will be used here first to install anchors and chains to moor the barge-type floater. The anchors must have adequate holding power. There are nine anchors altogether, which differ in size depending on the nature of the seabed. Chains connected to the anchors are pulled from the surface to assess their holding power. It is August 29th. Hibiki sets out from the port of Kitakyushu. It arrives at its installation site 15 kilometers out to sea. There, it is moored to anchors and chains that were installed in advance. 
It is moored to all nine anchors over five days. A power cable is installed, stretching about 15 kilometers from land to the floater. It begins operating at last, and a variety of data are gathered while it generates power. It's the start of a demonstration experiment for Hibiki.